Hey, what's up, YouTube? HBIC or Mexicus 4666. How's it going? It's been a while. Sorry you don't see a, my face. I'm actually driving, get a haircut and stuff because, you know, I'm actually going to a regional and stuff literally tomorrow. I got Jeff Jones and them coming over tonight to crash at my place so they don't have to stay up all night driving from Michigan to the regional in Chicago, Illinois. So that's going to be a fun and plus, I gotta make myself look cute and off, cause you know, regional. Gotta impress, gotta look good when you go to regional. But anyway, this is going to be a response because my buddy Nadir, Glasgow YGO, has asked me to make a response to his video about the competitive player scene for the Yugi tubers. Most importantly, like I said, do not text and drive children. That is the number one no-no, even though I'm kind of like doing it right now because I only look at the keyboard and I am multitasking for everything I am doing. So, yeah. So you don't want to do that. But anyway, he has this thing going around by competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! or Yugi tubers and stuff. It's like saying like, um, we're not like competitive. Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! on YouTube sucks for, hold on. Found and plebs coming out today for the, the most part. Video. Why I think we fail the community. Personally, this is just for myself speaking. I do not think I have failed. Like, currently this year, yeah, I failed a lot. But in the past, I have not failed. I have been on Yugi Tubing, has it been eight years now? Let's see, 2009, 11, 12. Yeah, I'm going on eight years of this. I have been on Yugi Tubing since I started. And it's like, my channel's been Yu-Gi-Oh! It's been Pokemon, FYI. going back to Pokemon. But I do not think I failed this city. If you watch Arrow, you know where that quotes come from. I don't think I failed the community at all. Now, 2017 so far, yes, because I have been a working holic bitch and you gotta make money. But I do not think I failed this community because I get countless messages or even when I'm at Yu-Gi-Oh! Regionals, YCSs, or hell, even my locals when I do make an pop appearance on there. People are actually happy for the content that I have posted up, the deck list, the fact that releases and stuff. Because usually I used to be hot on getting that shit up like literally first with Yugi Tubing news, but like I said, I've been busy and stuff. Usually I can get that news up quickly, even if I'm at work. But lately now I can't get it up. I can get it up. I get it up on Facebook and stuff. You follow me on social media network, but I can't get it up fast as YouTube. But like I said, I have gotten people that have been very, very, very thankful and grateful for what I have helped them with posting up a deck profile that says they helped them top because they needed to know a certain player's list and stuff. These type of things actually warns my little dark heart up. I'm not saying the dark heart as because I'm black because I'm like saying dark heart as in I am evil but I am smexy and cute and I am always nice and stuff to people. You really be shocked when people meet me and stuff. They think, oh, I thought you were this evil sassy bitch. You know, I am an evil sassy bitch but I'm like the nicest sassy bitch you ever will fucking meet. But um, back to what I was saying. People are be like, be shocked at the help and information that I give them. And that makes me happy. Even though the game is slowly, I'm not feeling it as much right now. I probably feel it when the DVD structure that comes out and when I get Predator plans and like that Final Fantasy stuff, I like it. Cause I know I'm not gonna like the game when Zodiacs come out. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's that's another that's another video right there. But uh, Nadir had like top four points that I'm going to post up. No target audience. He said a competitive scene don't have a target audience. I have to agree with that. To me personally, there's only like a couple competitive people that I would watch. Well, back in the day, there was a lot of competitive people. Jeff Jones had a channel. Billy Brake had a channel. Alex the Thunderpants Vanson had a channel. Jarrell Pro Winston. I don't know where the fuck he went to. He just like disappeared on the face of the earth. Dale Bolito had a channel. Audrey had a channel. If you guys remember uh, Little One X X, I think that was Audrey's name. Those were the people I used to watch back then. And hell, even Robbie Cole, even though I don't, Robbie Cole does not like fucking talk to me anymore. I don't know why. No, I'm basically scratched that. I have not really, I haven't talked to Robbie Cole in a, in a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a hot minute. But uh, those were the channels I watched back in the day before I started my Yugi channel up. Actually, yeah, I think my channel was up around the time when Jeff Jones and them had channels. So I was like really, really small. But it's like I was a casual player. I'm still casual, but I like to be a journalist type of specialist to give you guys the news, give you the tea that you guys would want 
for the Yu-Gi-Oh community. And this bitch does not know how to drive on the pass me up and stuff. I am going 55. Why the fuck this bitch think he can go 70 on this shit? I wish y'all can see this type of shit I'm dealing with on the road to go to get my hair cut. But, uh, yeah. That's just some crazy shit on there. I do believe that to, per, to an extent there is no target audience right now. I just, this thing is all casual. Not trying to say no names out. Like, the casual ones are like, I watch Mega Capital G's videos. I wish I just had time to do the type of stuff that Mega Capital G does. Let's see. Let's just, let's just go into it. Asian, Asian eyes. That's just trolly type of channel. That's just a troll. The shit, tons of giggles. And I think not, not, no, I'm not, like, like I said, I'm not battering anybody. I think that Mega Capital G learned the formula on what to do. Like what Mega Cap, I mean, what, uh, what Asian, Asian Eyes does or Sladra does with the videos like that. It's like, I can't be that troll, which I can be, but it's just like, it's not there. But for the competitive scene, there's not really a lot of competitive channels out there. Right now, as of right now, I don't consider myself a competitive thing because I haven't, I'm not really doing no deck profiles. I'm not, scratch that. I'm not really doing no deck profiles at all until I get a new format because right now it's all the same thing. And that literally gets redundant and boring saying the same thing. Even though I butcher cards, I'll admit I butcher the fuck out of cards. That gets boring as hell saying the same thing over and over and over. And like it's like one or two text choices. I need to get like the people to break that shit down for me for a deck profile if that makes sense. But uh, the competitive people that I, I would see out there that like give you like competitive stuff like all the time now, probably the only one I can think of on top of my head to be Glasgow YGO. Because, let's face it, I am not on top of my game anymore with deck profiles like I used to be. I was the queen of deck profiles. Yes, I said queen because, you know, I am gay. So, I am the queen of that shit right there. But, like, Glasgow and House of Champions, they have upped their game up to literally surpass me when it comes to posting up, like, deck profiles and shit. But, uh, yeah, that's my competitive stuff if I want to go look at deck profiles, if I want to go see this. I want to get some tips because, like uh, Nadir said, or Glasgow, I don't know, I don't know which one you guys want to refer to, man. Um, for that type of stuff, I'm not going to give you all the secrets that I know. I know a lot of stuff. Like, like when I was with Voltage, I'm in their group chat. They talking about tech choices and stuff. Even now, when I, I'm on Team Jobber, they got tech choices and stuff. I'm in there. I see what they saying, even though I really don't talk that much because I'm always busy and stuff. But uh, I'm not going to tell you what I see and what I know for knowledge like that because they want to keep that on the DL. It's like literally I just like Nadir said, we could copy everything we know from like big players and all that stuff, but y'all not going to listen. Y'all going to come back to that video and listen to it after the fact. Even though I could try to warn you and stuff like that. Even me, I have some cool techie ideas and stuff and it's like, uh, I'm not going to tell you all my secrets. Sometimes it's like I just don't give a fuck. It's like literally I will show, I will post my deck profile or my deck list from a regional that I'm about to play in on my Facebook fan page or my Facebook so you guys can see it. And then my opponents can go tell them. It's like, I do not care because I'm going to have fun. And if I beat you and you know my list, that just puts the icing on the cake, the cherry on top that makes me happy and makes it fun for me. So that's like the target. Okay, that's like the first thing. There's no target audience, really. Um, other than I do want to get back to the competitive thing. I just need to get that boost that I would want for that and I need that kick it's okay I think I answered that as well as I could okay and uh, number two just wrapping up from what he said we all suck there's no specialist I must admit back in the, my time I thought I was a specialist god damn it I was a specialist of the George Porter and stuff I used to get all the tea with the deck profiles but right now there's really nothing there we can't give you something that we already know we can give you a deck list and that's pretty much about it we can't give you the insights of this player because let's be honest when we're doing deck profiles and stuff they don't want to tell you what their thoughts were on this sometimes they don't even want to give you their side decks and stuff like that so it's like i can't be a, like the big specialist that you guys would want and deserve with that there's nothing i can do with that i'm sorry but uh, I do bust my ass when I did in my time. You know, what am I saying my time? Make it sound like I'm old and shit. I am forever 21, bitches. And it's like, yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, like, there's no specialist. I really don't know where I want to go with that. Okay, number three. We kind of help you. We're not specialists. 
I, like I said in the beginning of this video, I feel like I help a lot of people out. Even though it do get annoying sometimes, I do admit, now that I'm like where I am, even though I feel like my channel is dying with the sub counts, which I really never cared for that, but uh, I feel like I'm dying in this game. I feel like I need to go back to the way I used to be and just do all the fun stuff and not trying to do deck profiles and stuff. Because let me tell you, Death profiles and the competitive scene is not there to where it is in Pokemon and stuff. That's why it's like I want to go do the Pokemon stuff. So, uh, yeah. And now I am getting messages. Okay, I'm getting messages now. I don't know who's coming to my house now for this damn reason. Because people are backing out, which I really don't care now. But what was I talking about now? See? This is going to be a long video, but I hope you guys actually like it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. I'm still going. We kind of help you out, but we're not specialists. Yeah, I'm not a specialist, but it's like I do what I can to help everybody out. Even if some people ask me, um, what is about this tech choice? I'll give you my opinion on it. It's like I'm not a pro player. I'm not, not, not like saying like I'm a pro. I'm like, I'm not like Jeff Jones, Billy Break, or anybody in those lines. I'm not going to be like the excellent person, but I can give you guys what I think. And like over all the deck profiles and stuff that I see, I know what, um, I can just, I can, like I said, I can just give you my opinion on it and hopefully that helps you out and win. Cause I know a lot of people, I get my opinion to when they message me and stuff and it actually works. Why well, just tell them my opinion? I don't like this. this is the reason why I don't like this. And it helps them out. But, uh, yeah, that's all I can tell you. Cause like some pro players, they don't want to, uh, give you all the information. It'd be a really, it could be a good thing. Not, they could probably, I don't know if they do. They can lie to you and say it's bad because they don't want, they don't want that card or whatever to be used against them if they play you like later in the future or something like that or whatever. But, uh, yeah, if that makes any sense. I'm like rambling on. I'm trying not to. So let me just get the number four. If I got events i want to keep it a secret okay it's like that sometimes i think i said this earlier sometimes it's like i have tech choices and stuff i'll keep that shit a secret but let me be honest with you sometimes i make my decks literally last fucking minute last fucking minute i put no thoughts on it that's how i top ycs columbus ohio in 2016 my first top ever let me tell you i do not have no regional tops at all even though i get like 12 11 and like literally top 16 all the time at regionals and half the time, I only play in like maybe one or two regionals when the season starts and I don't play no more. Now, last year, I must admit, I did not have my invite and I was not going to go to nationals last year. I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go to Columbus because it was an anime convention and all that stuff there inside of it. I was gonna go and just have fun. And what happened? I top 32 with a deck I literally made in five minutes before the event with my friend Ian, Smash Pump Kid, my day. And I top 32. I probably would have won my top 32 match. First of all, my top 32 match should have been a feature match on the damn thing, but my opponent did not want to do that, and Konami allowed him to do that, and then I went up to Konami and asked him, what the fuck was the problem with that? Because you don't supposed to do that. You sign that damn little thing when you turn in the tournament, you supposed to be playing in the features and even if you do that. It's no, oh no, I don't want to do that, and stuff, and then later on my opponent won the whole fucking event. Literally my whole uh, Demise Magic Spectre deck was literally can counter all Burning Abyss decks and I literally just flipped card Demise up with it on Impulse and just did that first. I should have just attacked him, I would have won. And I was in time. So that shit happened. I'm still a little salty about that. That was my fault. But it's like, hell, I did good with a deck playing 42 cards with three Demises, three Duality, one Upstart. Yeah. But uh, other than that, I feel the community of the aspects of this game is not there at all. Only community aspect of it is Hearthstone, I think. I don't watch Hearthstone. Magic Gathering for sure. Pokemon, definitely, because I'm going to be going to BGC's uh, in Collinsville, Illinois in March with my friend Lucas, so that's going to be a blast. So, yeah. Is there competitive in UV tubing? Yes and no. Is it really helpful? Yes and no. Do you, should you keep watching? Yes, and you should help the, your, your, uh, your fans out and the fans should help the subscribers out by hitting that like button on videos showing that you care especially if they busting their ass to make the channels good for you guys but other than that that's really all i gotta say let me know what you guys think overall and i will talk to you guys later hbic out let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments below mm -hmm. and 
yeah i will do more videos like this other than that nadir is bay and i like his video discussions i probably wouldn't this probably would have been better for me personally i don't know how this is going to be probably better if i had someone to like counter argument with but yeah like i said i'm rambling driving in the car so yeah let me know what you guys think and i will be posting more videos up soon i used to post videos all the time i don't know what i need to do with that. i need to look at my revenues of stuff like the views that will also need to do and see what you guys like better do you like the competitive asset of deck profiles or do you like the random stuff that's what i need to discover of my channel again with also the Pokemon content that's going to go up. I'm not making another channel. It's all Pokemon used to be on this channel and going back to it. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.